morning okay guys so today i need to plan a little bit and my mission is to take out the christmas decorations i need a little bit of fun in my life today because everything has been about getting stuff done and um i'm not having fun <laughs> so when it turns into not having any fun and just getting stuff done then i know i need to adjust my focus a little bit so my plan is going to try and get a little bit festive, put on some Christmas music. And I have a white tree that we call our New Year's tree, our homeschool slash New Year's tree. Um, and it's a white tree that we put up last year in the homeschool room. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that out and see if we can put that up now. I just needed to have a little bit of extra fun with my babies. I'm washing my hair, so the bigness is real. You guys are gonna see me in super comfy clothes for probably all of winter. <laughs> I'm really not feeling comfortable in jeans and any type of shirt that's, I don't know, close to my skin. So, um, which that doesn't make sense because sweaters are close to my skin, but you know what I'm saying. I've gained quite a bit of weight over this last year, I think it really has been. So um, I've gained quite a bit of weight and it makes me feel very uncomfortable wearing things that are just too close um, or too tight on my skin. So I've been living in sweaters. I've been living in sweaters and sweatpants. <laughs> and that's just the way that it's gonna be for right now. So plan, put up some decorations, hang out with you guys a little bit, edit this video, get it up. Boom. What are we talking about? We're talking about what our plans are going to be for the day. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get the tree down. Yeah. I got a new gadget to suck up all these leaves. I want to play with that. <laughs> Man things. This is the first year I don't have to rake these leaves, so I'm excited about that. We're going to do grocery shopping. Yes. I'm about to get good meals. Brian. Oh, snap. <laughs> Whatever. We watched this movie last night. What was the name of the movie? Queen of Katawa. It's about... um these uh, chess champions in Uganda. It was such a good movie. That's what we watched for movie night last night. And um, they snap in this movie and we've been trying to get the snap down. <laughs> and I can't really do it. Anyway, it was such a good movie. It was set in Uganda. Um, it was great because, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I guess I should have kind of vlogged for you so you can see how I do things. But um, everything is a learning opportunity in our house. So because it's set in Uganda, it was a whole geography um, <laughs> conversation, a culture slash geography um, slash determination and, um, and courage and bravery type of uh, lessons going on at movie night in my household, in the Falco family household. So that's what we did. I just finished editing. Um, a video on how you guys hung out with me while I got together my patron page <laughs> so thank you for hanging out with me even though you didn't even know that you hung out with me yet but um, I've been putting that off for a while patron is basically a space where we'll get to grow as a little Falco family um, where I'll be able to share my printables and ideas and things like that without feeling like I'm open to the whole entire internet so I'm really excited um, because I feel like I have a little bit more direction with um, where the effort and energy is going into these videos and um, yeah and homeschool as a business and the Falco and the Falco kids and things like that so I'm really excited I also am trying to complete a media kit for us as a family I don't work with companies too often but it is something that I want to uh, do more of it as long as it's a good fit for us um, so I wanted to have like a little kit uh, that shows what we're about and the things that we are interested in doing or collaborating on. So I'm about to get all festive, put on some Christmas music. I felt pretty guilty lately um, and just feeling like I can't keep, I can't keep, I can't keep doing this. You know, like I can't keep um, doing videos without them having any real end purpose or, you know, setting up business in a way so that I'm not doing 
um, these things here but then also all of my photography and video work um, in addition to whatever we do in homeschool it's just been a lot lately and I'm really trying to work through it I had a couple of meltdowns <laughs> but I am working through it and um, they are starting to all make sense and I'm starting to identify the things that I need to say no to and create the boundaries that I need to for this to be sustainable and for it to be actually part of the life um, that I want to live instead of you know just putting all my efforts or all my eggs in the wrong baskets I don't even know if that made sense <laughs> doing all the things again and it's a process isn't it and I think it's so much better when we know that we're not alone we're not crazy we're working through it we're trying to create this life that we love um, doing the things or using the gifts that we've been given and I, I we don't need to be um, we don't need to feel bad about that while first and foremost keeping our kids um, first and priority and just trying to figure out what that looks like is hard in itself but y'all know I'm getting chatty again. So, <laughs> so, um, oh, I, okay, so this doesn't happen to me very much, but I definitely had a fangirl moment the other day. Um, Brian was helping me go through um, comments, and I had to do a double take because J. Morrell, <laughs> J. Morrell Stewart from Large Family Table, she commented on one of my videos, like she's seen one of my videos. I totally had a fangirl moment. <laughs> <laughs> I did because she's kind of been my mama mentor like I love her so much um, I'm sure that you guys have all seen her and I know that a lot of times I think people are surprised uh, by the people that I watch or something but and I know that sounds ridiculous in itself but it is the truth um, it, they find it surprising the people that I watch but um, I love to see different families I love to see families that are different from me I feel like I learned so much uh, from them. I just, I'm just a lover of people in general and our differences. And it's so unfortunate in this world that, you know, differences can be such a divider. Um, and I don't believe they were meant to be that way. So that's the whole thing. Um, but I was really excited to see that she commented on one of my videos or that she'd even come across one of my videos and that made me very happy uh, because I don't follow very many homeschool moms. I know that sounds bad, but I mean, I just have a lot going on. So when I do reach for a YouTube video, normally it's like an artist or something. Um, so I don't have as much time and to follow a lot of homeschool moms but she is the one I always reach to because she just encourages me to just kind of keep going just I mean Jay Morrell really does all the things like <laughs> and I love her so much she's so cute ah oh, she's so cute and her family is so adorable and I love the way that they are just working through life um, the life that they love and so yeah if you happen to see this Jay Morrell I love you <laughs> I was you made my whole entire night um, when you left a comment on that video. So, yeah, thanks. Fun fact, every time the kids see me wearing Brian's clothes, they're like, could you take that off? That's daddy's. I'm like, this is the whole reason you get married is nothing belongs to just him. <laughs> what's his is mine and what's mine is his. This is how it works, kids. Okay, so my challenge lies in knowing where to put my tree this year. These are my wreaths. I feel like this year is going to look really cluttered and that's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it.